bananas here in Pingdong in southern Taiwan. But this isn't a sign of thriving local wildlife. Rather, it's the result of an invasive species taking root and spreading in the area. And then right there is a massive one. We can't even get close to him. Oh my, it's unreal. Some things, the truth is stranger than science fiction. So right now, guys, we are in the midst of this lizard takeover. I'm just at one of these areas that we've captured giant lizards before. Matter of fact, this is the same spot where we caught the record, guys. The legendary 15-pound alpha iguana. See out here in the field. Oh my gracious. That's a big one right there. Now I've been now, I've been coming out here for the last couple of days. Haven't seen a single iguana. And today is uh, ironically the day before the storm comes and well, there's just a whole bunch of them. The problem is we can't even get close to them right now. So we're gonna go to the main nest and see what's really going on out there. See how the activity's looking. Silly iguanas. I don't know if they were responsible for that, but soon for sure they're gonna be digging. Can't even get close to them because there's not even a lick of sunlight out here. Usually if there was sun, they would, you know, I'd give them more reason to kind of just chill out, but man, these iguanas, they're yeah, they're not even they're not even waiting around to get questioned. They're just heading out. Insane. I'm really far from them. They're trying to basically synthesize whatever sun they can get. I'm sorry about the uh, camera shake in this video. It's got an issue with the onboard stabilization. Oh my goodness. Bunch of reptiles are out at the moment and trying to bask. As you can see it's on the left side of the screen, it appears to be a soft-shelled turtle. And then right there is a massive one. We can't even get close to him. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is unreal. Whoa. And some people are saying the lizard takeover isn't real. What do you call that, my friends? It is as real. Some things, the truth is stranger than science fiction. But this is not no sci-fi movie, guys. The lizard evasion is here. And there's a softie right here. Let's see if we can get a shot of it. Wait, that's an iguana, Never mind. Where the softy go? There goes the softy. Hanging out with the iguanas. Let's see if we can get close to that softy. And then I'll show you guys a massive alpha that is here. As you guys can see, it would it would be nearly impossible to catch these lizards out here right now at this moment. Oh, softy! No, softy! Nearly impossible. Check that out right there. I want to come out here and catch them. <clears throat> but you, I just wanted to, you know, this is the first time I'm seeing them out here. Now just keep bobbing your head, buddy. Just keep bobbing your head.
Now, I will come back here on the right day. So I just want to respect the distance with these iguanas. I don't want to wild them up too much. Oh my God. There's about, I don't even know how many right there. At least a dozen or two. It is a really invasive species to say the least. And I just seen a recent video in Taiwan that there is an invasive iguana problem over there, South Taiwan. It's raining green iguanas here in Pingdong in southern Taiwan. But this isn't a sign of thriving local wildlife. Rather, it's the result of an invasive species taking root and spreading in the area. As they multiply, they're causing serious damage to local crops, especially the local red beans. The iguanas are so bold, they even feed in broad daylight. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Red bean planting season started in October. And within just a few weeks, the green iguanas chew through local fields, devastating the farmers' young tender crops. Dang. Some farmers set up nets around their plants to protect them. <laughs> they set up nets. I guess they don't have access to air rifles out there. The method isn't very effective. Setting up nets is time-consuming and pricey. Devastation. Ruining the livelihood of these local farmers. Many farmers have turned to the area's councillor, Hong Zhongqi, for help. This is when the local government can step in to help arrange hunters to remove the iguanas. Yes. To remove the green iguanas, hunters head out during the night when they're easier to capture. They use slingshots and snake tongs to capture as many as they can. Nice Pengtong County is seeing guys. an ever-growing population of iguanas, with more removed each year. The number of removals increased from 4,000 to over 34,000 in recent years. With such a large population of green iguanas in Pingdong and the red bean planting season underway, removing the lizards isn't just about controlling an invasive species. It's a critical step in supporting local farmers and protecting their livelihoods. Hang Shu wow. and Sunny Chi for Taiwan Plus. Wow, 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 guys. That was insane. You guys seen that all the way from Taiwan, they're being affected by green iguanas. And, um, you can see the farmers right there, livelihood, devastated, um, plants, farms. Uh, it's a very frustrating situation. Uh, they're using slingshots and, and uh, I guess, catch poles at night. But maybe uh, some official government officials can probably use air rifles or maybe even 22s to help, you know, get that problem under control. Because the air rifle is the quickest, most humane, most efficient method, in my opinion, and if they're in a uh, area that's not around the city, like in the country, they can use that without any, um, you know, threats or anything, any, you know, potential accidents uh, with air rifles. So maybe that's something for them to consider. But um, crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Let me know what you guys think about this phenomenon in the comments down below. Same thing happened out there. Devastating farmers and... Uh, you know, causing tens of thousands of dollars in damage. Dang, these things, they got a lot of 
A lot of juices pumping through them right now. Now there is a massive one hanging in this tree. Let's see if we can show it to you. Oh my goodness. That one looked uh, really big. So this place has a lot of work. It needs to be done. There are tons of iguanas out here. Um, I'm gonna talk to the management and see if somehow or another we could use an air rifle. But there are condo buildings all around here. So they might tell me the same answer that they told me before. You can catch them. You can do what you got to do. You can send us photos. That's fine. But you cannot use the air gun because you see those buildings in the back. So if I'm shooting up, you can see that building peeking right through there. If I'm shooting through that. I mean, there's, you know, like chances are eventually one of those pellets might ricochet and hit a building so that might be out of the picture indefinitely but look at this one this one spikes are messed up like he just got into a fight this is all erosion caused by these lizards right here there's probably several holes Something's got these lizards freaked out because they're all on high alert. I mean, I'm wearing all black. I shouldn't, you know, getting them this riled up. Now, all that noise you guys are hearing in the back is all iguana. Massive too. Oh my goodness. Now as you can see, there's iguanas falling out of trees. This is super hazardous. Oh my goodness. There are many, many large iguanas out here. And before I do hunts, or I attempt to remove iguanas, I like to come before and see. If there's any type of activity going on. See it behind those this is the other side of the of the lake. Buildings all back there. Buildings all through there, you can see them. So I mean As much as it's needed, it's not gonna be possible, guys, to use an air gun in this situation. And that's the frustrating part.
I hope you guys enjoyed this little walk and talk uh, with the iguana man. And I hope you guys learned something and was somewhat entertained. If you did, like the video, share it. Seems like the takeover is real here in Florida and also in Taiwan. They're dealing with an iguana issue as well. Well, with that being said, we're, we'll go back to the drawing book and we will re-strategize and we will be back out here the next time. Uh, it, the, the conditions seem optimal to attempt to remove these giant lizards. See you guys soon. Peace.